Hey guys, welcome to another video and this time we are reviewing Dot OS 5.1 for the Pocophone F1. Now this is based on Android 11 but it has a lot of look-alike features of Android 12 and that is the reason this ROM is interesting. But before we get into the review, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our social media and telegram community where we are about to hit a thousand members so go ahead and join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going Droid on Time dot OS 5.1 a very very exciting ROM since a lot of days I have been using it on different different devices so if you go to about phone you will see that the completely new revamped UI is present over here it does say dot OS 5.1 G apps version device is the Pocophone F1 Android version is Android 11 code name Beryllium now the security patch is the 5th of May 2021 and the kernel supplied with this particular phone or ROM is Sentinel kernel, right? That is everything about the system info but if you swipe from the top to bottom you will see that it has the Monet look-alike or Monet wannabe UI. That's what they are calling it. Settings, edit, you have an option to reset tiles, you have a ton of options over here like do not disturb, torch, auto rotate, you have screen recording which we will definitely look into in a while. Now apart from quick settings you do have your usual Android 11 easter egg with bubble mode working. Now note bubble mode doesn't work for WhatsApp yet. All right. Now next thing that we can talk about is the volume panel. Now if you can have a look the volume panel looks pretty pretty slick and pretty pretty solid because of this new UI and if you notice something over here whenever you change the wallpaper the UI changes that is what you know they are doing with Android 12 so if you go to built-in wallpapers right system accent apply home screen and lock screen as you can see over here the wallpaper did not change now that does not mean that that particular feature is not working if you go to customization right so that's another Android 12 feature wherein you know the system UI color will change with the wallpaper which is pretty pretty neat the only downside is you will not have access to live wallpapers because it doesn't work with the Monet wannabe UI next up you know let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the screen recorder now it does allow you to use microphone and device audio and if you click on start here let's see and as you can see over here the recording has started and what you can notice is there is no jitter there is no stutter in the UI everything is smooth and if you tap over here it stops the recording right and once the recording has been processed you do have multiple options of sharing it there you go moving on if you talk about the multitasking menu although this is a G apps build over here right you do have screenshot option and you do have the select option as well you do have scroll delete edit multiple options for the screenshot and if you click on select it works absolutely fine so that is another neat addition now because this is a G apps build it does come with pixel launcher which in itself has quite a few features and they work as expected if you go to home settings you do have these basic functions and you can actually go ahead and use them if you swipe to the left you do have discover or the google now feed and it is stutter free it is pretty pretty smooth and as of now i've you know not gone ahead and made any changes so it works absolutely smooth and as expected Moving on, let's actually talk about the settings menu over here and here you have .OS customization. Now the reason I like this is because you have the customization menu laid out in a Android 12 style. You have a wallpapers always on display in the house, status bar, quick settings, app lock, the lab, clock face, buttons themes system and launcher grid and this is the detail of all the maintainers over here. All right now talking about safety net safety net passes out of the box so your banking applications are taken care of and if we talk about DRM info let's have a look over here 
it does say L1 but as you know Amazon Prime unfortunately will not work in HD now when we talk about the camera application it does come with a very very basic camera application it doesn't have like the Gcam Go that would have been nice but that's okay you can always install the APK of Gcam and you should be good to go now talking about battery life we do have Accu battery over here and in one charge I got around five to six hours of screen on time and if I'm doing hardcore gaming around three hours of gaming while streaming so that is pretty pretty good charging it takes around one and a half hours on the 18 watt charger 90 minutes to 100 minutes is what I can notice and next up let's actually go ahead and talk about Geekbench that is the benchmark now as you can see over here the score is 498 and 2146 it's not out of the world but it's pretty amazing and if you further move into settings you do have a ton of options wherein you can customize your phone, you have network and internet, all the usual Android 11 goodies. Now, I would not want to bore you by going into each and every settings, but I would tell you that it has a ton of options available. One important option over here is thermal profiles, right? For example, if you have a look at PUBG Mobile, we have set it to performance. If you go ahead and set it to gaming, you will get an icon over here. Now, usually over here, you do have an option to click which will give you access to the gaming mode unfortunately that is missing features like portrait light are working out of the box and for package installer as well like if you install an apk there is a new ui now that's everything good about this rom and i would go on to say that you can definitely use this as a daily driver it is absolutely smooth and fantastic to use it as a daily driver but the only thing or the only caveat is gaming I did a live stream on this yesterday. I noticed very, very bad frame drops in hot drops. So that means that if you're a hardcore gamer, probably this ROM is not for you. But if you do casual gaming, maybe you can slap on a custom kernel and you should be good to go. So, you know, if you ask me, all in all, Dot .OS for the Pocophone F1 has a ton of features. You can go ahead and use it as a daily driver, has a, almost a complete Android 12 UI, which I really, really like because you know, porting the UI doesn't introduce new bugs and you can get the best of both worlds. Let me know what do you think about this review in the comment section. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.